What is up guys? It is Matthew Matt's Fishing. Today is February 16th. It is a bit of a different style of video today. It's gonna be more of a vlog style of video. Today is the spring fishing and boat show. So I'm gonna be heading down to the International Center in Toronto. I'm gonna take you guys along with me, show you all the cool stuff I see. First things first guys, can't show up to the show wearing my PJs. So uh, we're gonna change real quick. All right guys, we are all packed and ready to go. We got our ticket, we got some water, a couple little things for the day. Let's get ready to go. Whew, it is brisk out here guys. It snowed a little bit last night. We're gonna hop in the car, grab some Timmy's cause we need some coffee in the morning and get to the International Center. Roll up the rim, baby. We want to help you. Hello, could I please get a large double double and a sesame seed bagel toasted with herb and garlic cream cheese? Is that everything? That is all. For $75. Awesome, thank you very much. You're welcome. Hi, for $75. Thank you. Have a nice day. You as well, have a good one. There you have it guys, we got our coffee. We are ready to rip. Well guys, we have just arrived. It is 8.25, it opens at nine. Why am I here so early? Got a good spot at least. Also beside a pretty pretty sick truck. But now I'm gonna wait for probably about half an hour. I'm also meeting up with Lady Bass and Grant from A-Team Fishing and a couple other people. I also wanna just say, if you guys do ever see me at say a show or a fishing or anything like that, please do not hesitate to come up and say hello. I'm extremely friendly. Always happy to talk to you guys and engage with you guys. I love getting feedback on my videos and if you guys watch me, it's, it's really cool to actually see people when I'm out fishing uh, that have watched some of my content. So always feel free to stop by. Guys, since I'm here so early, I'm gonna give you guys a really Really quick tip I have seen a lot of people that are absolutely horrendous at this it's got to be done so if you guys get a roll up the rim cup follow that arrow tells you roll right there do not use your teeth do not try to use your nails and rip the rim up very easy squish the cup and push and just like that I get a nice play again guys I swear these get harder and harder every year Good morning and welcome to the Spring Fishing and Boat Show. The show is officially open. Alright guys, we are in one of the first ones in here today. It's going to be a good show. Pretty excited to uh, see what's new. purchase is done guys I'll show you guys everything I get when I go home I am here with Lady Bath she's grabbing some stuff I'll let her show you guys what she's getting I'm also here with Grant we're chilling hey guys walking around it's gonna be plenty busy in here Alright guys, I'm out here at the Impact Baits booth. You guys have seen me use these baits. I uh, tend to fish. <laughs> you guys hitting me. I tend to fish these uh, pretty much all the time on a drop shot. They're one of my favorite baits. They're an absolute killer on Simcoe. They just came out with some fresh colors. Check that out guys. If you are fishing Simcoe, they have a ton of natural colors. They're super awesome baits. They completely mimic a goby. I definitely suggest you guys pick up a couple packs of these. Come talk to Steve, come talk to Johnny. They're awesome guys, hook you up. Great baits, good price, Canadian company. That is an awesome, awesome, awesome looking craw trailer. Those things will be absolutely fire. They also make some really awesome bigger swim baits if you're fishing for pike. You can even get Lakers on those, I'm sure. Definitely check out the Impact Baits booth, guys. They got everything you could want. These guys all fish Simcoe uh, and all these same waters in Ontario as me, uh, so they can definitely get you hooked up. What's 
What's up guys? We are chilling at the Shimano booth here with the new Trado DCs. Everyone loves these. These were a hot item when they hit the market. Definitely check these out. I want one myself. I don't have money for one right now. Shimano, if you see this, hook me up. <laughs> Super sick reel that just came out guys, the Shimano SLX. Awesome budget friendly reel if anyone's looking for something a little bit more affordable. I'd definitely say check these guys out, they'll do the job for you. Pretty sweet show so far. We've been walking around a ton, meeting a lot of new people, which is really awesome. That's really my main goal of getting out to these shows is to uh, talk to you guys and really just meet a bunch of new people. One day guys, hopefully, I will be able to say I'm the proud owner of something like this. Every little detail on this boat is just mint. The Rangers are absolutely beautiful boats. I can only dream of owning something like this one day. We'll get there. It's gonna take some time, a lot of hard work, and a lot more YouTube videos. <laughs> We are out here at the Rawfish booth. They got their new uh, long sleeves in, the UV shirts. Super sweet. You are out on the water on a sunny day. These things are gorgeous. We are back at the Perfect Jig booth. Just want to show you guys one of my favorite baits that I used all summer. Really awesome bait. It is the Perfect Jig little creature baits. This one's in the root beer color. This was a super good color for me last year. Definitely come check these out guys. Perfect Jig makes some sick stuff. Tons of selection. Sells them in the tournament packs too. Coming a 15 pack, which I'm definitely going to need this year. Got some really awesome swim jigs. Uh, I really want to try his tungsten jigs this year. I didn't try those last year, but uh, all his stuff's really awesome. Definitely check it out. All handmade here in Canada. Always try to support local. I want to also give a shout out if you guys are ever in the Kitchener area, definitely come check out Natural Sports. They got a really awesome booth, tons of stuff. It's a really awesome store in Kitchener. I'm there when I'm at school because I am at Laurier, so I'm in Waterloo. It's about a 10 minute drive for me. That place always has everything I need. They always hook me up. I love going to Natural Sports. They got a really sick, really big booth down here. Come check it out. Super sick fishing art, guys. That would be an awesome painting for the brook trout. It's wicked. All right, guys, we are just about done up at the show. We uh, talked to a ton of people. That's pretty much all we did today. Tons we, of understatement. Yeah, we bought a little bit of stuff. I had an awesome day with Lady Bass and Grant. Really sick day. Uh, really just enjoyed talking to people. Bought a couple things. I'm gonna show you guys when I get home. Stay tuned for that. All right guys, that is just about a wrap. I am now home. It's about 4 p.m. I was at the show from about 9 a.m. till about 3 p.m. Last but not least, I wanna take you guys through what I got. So the first thing I picked up today, just a little raw fish hat. I love the stuff they make. Let's see if I can get that to focus. There we go. Just a nice, clean hat. It's got the white back, the trucker style. I really like these hats. Rawfish makes some really awesome fishing clothes. Next thing I got here, 
I am going to start with this guy. I got the Mega Bass Vision 110 Plus 2 in the Tennessee, Tennessee Shad colorway. Pardon. It's a little tough to say. I've actually never bought anything made by Mega Bass uh, other than Dark Sleepers. I fished those a lot last year, but uh, I've never bought any of the Vision Jerk Baits. I have heard they're absolutely insanely good baits. It's always been really hard to get myself to just bite the bullet on something that expensive, but I got that guy. I also got a Vision 110 Plus One in the Northern Effect colorway. This was what was supposed to be a limited edition, I believe, that came out last year. Super sick looking bait. And I got one more. I got a regular Vision 110 in a perch color. Really excited to use these baits. I've heard that they are the deal when you are fishing with jerk baits. Really worried that I'm gonna lose one of these to a pike or something like that. Uh, they are very expensive. To me, it's <laughs> very hard to get myself to spend that much money on a single bait. I gotta give them a shot. I really wanna try them. I've been wanting some for a while. Uh, so I got a couple and we're gonna give them a whirl. The next thing that I got is a pack of tubes from Impact Baits. Guys over at Impact Baits make some really awesome stuff. It is all handmade here in Canada. It's a local company. I actually know the owners decently well. I'm good friends with them. I'll take it out and show you guys. This is one of their smaller tubes. I'm gonna try these uh, probably on some of the little northern lakes for some lake trout. I really like the tubes they make. The appendages are really well done. You can see there, there's a lot of them. They'll flare out very well. Really excited to try those out. And these ones are also actually UV. They should be really good. I think these are gonna work really well for some Lakers, especially some of the smaller northern ones. Next thing up, I got a new hat from The Perfect Jig. You guys know I love their stuff. Brendan makes an absolutely amazing product. I really, really like using his jigs. Uh, he makes some really good soft plastics too. I like his beaver baits or his creature style bait. They do work very well. And I really like the hats he makes. They fit me really well. I got one last year too. This time I went with the green backing on it. Decided to get something a little more flashy. Last but not least, this was probably the most anticipated bait. The bait that I was the most excited for when going to the show. I absolutely had to get my hands on a couple of these. It was the perfect jig, new spinner baits. These ones, this one is in the perch colorway. It's in the 3 8 ounce. And how freaking wicked does that look, guys? These things look deadly. I think he absolutely killed it on these. He had them in a perch color, uh, a bluegill, or like a sunfish color, and then he also had a shad color. Uh, so I went on, today's a Saturday. He sold out of the shad color already on the Friday. Those went super quick. The perch color was actually the one that I wanted. Thankfully, he still had some left. I want to give a huge shout out to him. These look absolutely killer, and I think these are going to be awesome on any lakes here in Ontario. I want to make sure to just give a huge shout out to all the companies and all the vendors that are at the show. You guys put an amazing show on year after year. It's always awesome seeing the entire fishing community come together to attend the show and see all the new stuff and buy some goodies. I also want to give a very special shout out to Natural Sports. They have an awesome booth set up there. Those guys always hook it up. I go in there a lot when I am in Waterloo because uh, they're in Kitchener. Really great store, highly suggest if you guys are in the area to check it out. They have anything you could ever want in terms of fishing. I also wanna give a huge shout out to Impact Baits. As you guys saw in the video, I gave you guys a little view at some of the new colors that they have in, I believe it's called the Scolby, that little drop shot bait that looks sort of like a goby. That's probably my favorite drop shot bait that I use. I use that thing frequently. It is a fish catching machine. So huge shout out to them. And last but not least, I wanna give a massive shout out to the Perfect Jig. He has a really sick booth set up. Definitely go check his booth out. He's got jigs, craws, tungsten weights, anything you could want for flipping and pitching. He's got it all. He also has uh, jig kits, which look really good. And he also has uh, some bulk bags of creature bait. So that's gonna just about do it for this video, guys. I had an absolutely amazing day at the show. Got to meet so many of you guys, which is really the most important thing to me. It was really cool to meet and talk to a bunch of guys. I don't always necessarily go to the show to buy product. It's more for me, a matter of meeting and talking to new people and seeing some of the new stuff for the year. It's always cool to see what's out there, even if I don't need to buy it. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully you are heading to the fishing show on either Sunday or Monday if you have not gone already. Highly suggested. It's a really great place to uh, gain some knowledge, meet some new people, and all the products you could ever want are in the same room. Why wouldn't you go? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome day and peace.